That's no use! I'm going to die! Damn it. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> One second. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that looks so... She just goes... Uh. She just goes... Ah! And then fell on the floor. <laughs> right, we're recording. Hello, everyone. My name is Ash Mannix, and I'm with I'm here with my ever so faithful co-host Kixel. I'm still roasting. And I changed up my intro a little bit. I said hello everyone instead of hello there. Look at me innovating. Um, once again, we're back playing Return to Shunagaso Island. I am thoroughly enjoying this. I believe Kixel is too. Um. In the last episode, what happened in the last episode? It feels like it was ages ago. I think it was ages ago. So the last thing I remember is that a dude was set on fire and then we were looking around and stuff. And there was a dodgy, we had a dream where a dodgy fucking monster came to us. A demon off the grass of the island. And also you pointed out in the last video uh, I'm assuming yeah. when, when this video comes out, people would have watched the last episode or the last bit. The episode before this will have been out for a week. Uh, there was like some sort of shadow appearing behind the windows in our bedroom. Um, I think that was in the in the dream. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Quote, dream. So. Yeah, interesting stuff is I'm enjoying this. I I have lost a, lo a little bit of love for the main character because he's such a, a sh like I like the back and forth between him and uh Nesuki? Neneko. Neneko, sorry. Um but that he his attitude totally changes with Aurora. Yeah. And it's just like what it's really jarring and he's like I mean, especially shit to Neneko a couple of times as well like un, like <laughs> too cruel uh, I don't know it's just uh, rubbed me up the wrong way ah a poisonous snake was chucked in remember we were having an interview <laughs> with uh, Akira and um, Neneko's there and then just someone just it, chucked yeah we just dealt with it so someone chucked a poisonous snake the black mamba and we're yeah, talking, you know, that's not a euphemism, it's an actual snake. Um, and yeah, we took care of it. But so things are hot, heating up. Also, we technically died outside the mansion. We were, so we were told to wait by Thomas, not Thomas. Thomas. Was it maybe Thomas? Um, we went there waiting for him. Oh, and then Thomas is dead. Oh, uh, the other guy, Pat. Who's the guy with the white coat? He was Thomas's friend. Yeah, P. Peter Patrick. I don't know that guy. Um, and we waited outside, and it turned. Someone started shooting at us, and then we kind of got shot and died, and then the game glitched, and we were alive again. So, and then when we talked to him about it afterwards, we're like, "Why did you invite us out there?" Because uh, he said he'd leave a note, and then a note was left, and it said to meet him there. And he's like, "No, no, you're supposed to meet me somewhere else." And we're like, what? And so, so someone had uh, replaced the note. So, I, you know, I suspect um, Aurora. She is fishy. Her story is fishy. She is kind of suspicious. But, um, yeah. and just how our character has lowered his guard around her, it kind of annoys me. Well, let's carry on with Akira. <clears throat> and I hate the Geesh or geesh, whatever that's supposed to be. I thought it was I just. Really, do you think it should have been G's? I thought it was just us that did that. Our character. Oh well. No, it's everyone. It's universal. So mm. anyway, <clears throat> yeesh. For a second, I thought this was the end. It appears that you somehow managed to kill it, though. Somehow. Phew. Is there no music? No, it's a bit weird. Now I need to just uh, get. Wait, don't get off the desk yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? Wait, why is it still alive? As it... It's 
Akira gets off the desk, the snake lunges at her, even though I cut it in half. I try to grab it, but I'm too late. Oh no. No. The snake's fangs sink into Akira's ankle. Did it bite me? How the hell was it able to do that when he sliced it in half? I know, right? Oh, this music's gotten very Umineko esque. Yes. It bit me! I mean, if you didn't think this was an Umineko. A love letter to Umineko, then fucking now you know. I'm fucking putting the volume up. No! I grab the snake's head that still cling to Akira's ankle and pull it off her. I throw it into a corner time and. Time to suck out the. Time to suck out the venom. <laughs> This has become that type of game. I throw it into yes. a corner and it slowly stops moving. We can get back the, uh, uh, what was that? Akari sailor uniform or whatever. Well, get the foot, the foot meter back on. <laughs> I've been bitten! I've been bitten! I've been bitten! <laughs> How could I have known that it could still move? I mean, I, I, Akira. I mean, yeah, it's completely reasonable. Akira, calm down. Try to try not to move. Sit in this chair. I can't remember what voice I gave this guy. Hold still. Keep your foot lower than your heart. If I am bitten, I'll die, won't I? What's even the point? That's no use. I'm going to die. Damn it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> One second. Wait. <laughs> that looks so... Just goes... She just goes, ah! And <laughs> fell on the floor. What the fuck, man? Akira screams and drops down onto the floor. Hey, I told you not to lie down. I'm going to die anyway. I'll do what I want. Why are you... Don't be stupid and just give up like that. I'll find a way to save you. There's such a venomous snake in the mansion, there has to be an antidote somewhere. And where do you think it is? Even if there is an antidote, you'll never find it. Akira releases her gaze and begins to mutter to herself. I move Akira into an upright position. Hmm. Neneko, is there anything else we can do when a venomous snake bites someone? Um. well... Remove anything tight. Rings, watches, shoes... Because they will become difficult to move when the bite smells. You're right. I totally forgot about that. I take off Akira's shoes and tear her stockings that cover the bite mark. Now we're talking. <laughs> I was joking before, <laughs> but... Yeah. Oh, also, I'm going to switch to our no avatar screen. Oh, you did it again. Yes. That's definitely a snake bite on her ankle. Damn. Thanks a lot, Sherlock. What a mess. Oh, this... Found an axe! No, no, this is... Clear up the door. I'm going to break it open. I'm guessing this is the... Um... Butler. Yeah, so I think I did her voice. I found an axe. Stand clear. I can't remember her voice. What the fuck did I do? I found an axe. Stand clear of the door. I'm going to break it open. Wait, who is this? Giselle. Oh, Giselle, yeah. We hear Giselle's voice coming from outside. Damn. As soon as Giselle breaks the door open, she and Rail rush into the room. Ah, Rail is the doctor. Young lady, what happened to you? Ah, perfect timing, Giselle. Think of something appropriate to engrave on my tombstone. Talk about fatalistic. I like it. <laughs> something like, here lies Akira Edgeworth, killed by a dead snake. <laughs> well, at least she's got a dark sense of humour. I like it. I really like that. Akira still manages to joke around. Giselle appears to have understood the gravity of the situation and gives me a quick glance. Giselle, I'm grasping at straws here, but could you find someone from the mansion and ask them if they know of an antidote? This might be dangerous, but could you do it? I will. This happened because I abandoned my position at the door. I will look for someone and find the antidote. I'm sure you'll be fine, young lady. Giselle quickly leaves the room. Giselle, just help me. Did Akira really get bitten by a venomous snake? I'm glad you're here, Rail. Can I ask you to help me now as well? I tell her what has happened. What a dangerous situation. We have to get an antidote. A black mamba venom can be it can seriously affect the nervous system. But the toxins of a black mamba are mainly dendrotoxin and fa fasciculin. 
dendrotoxin inhibits the potassium channels of neurons, while fasciculin inhibits acetylcholinesterase, eliciting muscle fasciculations. Fuck off, Nenko! <laughs> <laughs> um, what she says. Nenko, what's the insinuation? Nenko, you can help her. Um, real. How much time do you think we have? Depends on the amount of venom injected by the black mamba, but it's usually around 20 minutes. Whoa. Several minutes have already passed since she was bitten. If we take the time needed for preparation and the injection of the antidote into account, we may have 10 minutes at most. Mm -hmm. 10 minutes. And we're looking for an antidote we don't even know really exists. To be honest, it sounds impossible. That was me. Fuck. I thought it was still real. No. Uh, 10 minutes, and we're looking for an antidote we don't even know really exists. To be honest, it sounds impossible. Also, when you were saying that, I thought you were just being sarcastic, like saying your own thoughts. <laughs> oh, right. And I was like, yeah, what the fuck? This is fucked. Oh shit! Oh no, we have a fucking wait. Is that a time? Wait, how do I fucking save in this game? <clears throat> Excuse me, but I can hit you. I'm just dying here, but I'm not dead. Oh fuck! Oh my god, it's going right now. Fuck! Her. It's in real time. <laughs> Could you please keep it down? I don't. I really don't need to hear that. It's impossible. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, sorry about that. You misunderstood. Um, we're just talking about something else. Right? Fuck! Uh, don't worry, Akira. Uh, we'll find an answer soon enough. Easy peasy. It's hopeless! I'm going to die! Akira seems desperate, but no wonder. Anyway, there's no time to slack off. I have to find that antidote. Or maybe look for a different treatment. We may have to. Real, Neniko, is there any other way to treat the bite of a black mamba? Because she's already bitten by it. Using an antidote would be the best way to treat her. I wish I'd brought my snake bite kit with me. I never expected there would be venomous snakes in this isolated island. Good boy. This is not very attractive, but you could suck it out her blood. I told that a while ago. I'm a doctor's point of view, I can't really recommend that. Whoever sucks the blood out may also be poisoned. It's venom, not poison. If you use tannic acid, which has the function of coagulated protein, you could neutralize the venom. Tannic acid? Huh. Have you got, what's that? What contains a lot of tannic acid? Tea? Tea. No, wait, shit. Sour Pimimus Simmons, I think. No, no. I'm gonna guess wine. Wine? Yes, we should be able to get some wine quickly. There's a wine cellar nearby. What did you say? No, I can't I f remember how to fucking save in this game. Uh, wait. Whoa, what's the button to save? Ah, that's not how to save! Uh, right, fuck it. Well, dear viewers, unfortunately, Akira passed away because Ashmanix could not remember how to save the game. How'd you save the game in this? Where's the fucking... You've been doing it the whole fucking time! Wait, uh, text, screen... Just, um... Oh my god, the stream paused. Is it when I put the... Right, this is not yeah. working very well. Uh, fuck it, let's just do the voice. Fuck it, let's carry on, yeah. Right, all right. Uh, oh, all right, I guess we're going to get some wine. Just hold on, Akira, things appear to be turning around. Is that why I feel like I'm spinning in circles? Why can I not remember how to save? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to save your life. This may be hard to believe, but luck is always on my side. You can trust me. You might save a life, but fucking can't save the game. Wait, didn't a guy burn to death earlier? Your luck stinks. Good point. Well, good luck for one is bad luck for another. I think I just felt my odds of survival drop to single digits. We're back. Here's the wine. Good stuff. That Here's was the wine. That was quick. This wine is... I first looked for wines made with Cab Cabernet Sauvignon, which contains a lot of tannic acid. I didn't see any, so I got this Romani Conti instead. This wine was matured for a long time, so it has to contain a lot of tannic acid. This single People ball of wine co costs more than $10,000. But screw it. Now is not the time to be fussy about prices. Ah, oh, oops. I forgot to bring a wine opener. Fucking hell. Fuck's sake. No problemo. Check this out, Nenico. <laughs> this is how you open a wine bottle. <laughs> Serikita style! <laughs> to anybody that goes, oh. check this out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You just did that to a super valuable bottle of Romani Conti. Now that it's open, I take some of the wine into my mouth. I mean, just gonna fucking drink it. I immediately suck some blood out of Akira's ankle, rinse my mouth with the wine, and spit it out. Yeah. 
Are you okay? I think I was able to suck some of the venom out. Eh. I hate to say this, but thank you. You begin to like this, Akira. Uh, that's surprisingly honest, hearing Akira say that. She might actually oh, be a you. good kid after all. There's still some wine left, so I'll pour it into onto the bait. Ouch! Oh, cool. Right, Ant the antidote. We have to oh, find just it. fucking topped up the remaining time. We have to find it as quickly as possible. Well, how the fuck do I save in this game? Um, it's not. I don't know. It's not the escape button. Right click. Back -sli right click. So, no, right click does the same thing. Wait. S. Uh, S. Menu. M. If I press space bar, it just. Oh, maybe you can. Maybe you can't because of the remaining time. Right. All right. The antidote. We have to find it as quickly as possible. Where could, Thanks, hentai hero. Where would Honestly, it likely I'm be? I'm having a time of my fucking life right fucking now. This, this is fucking great. Fuck you. Not an I love it when we get gameplay, man. Um, um, right, what were we looking for? What was he saying? We're um, looking for antidote. It's probably in his living quarters. Not yeah, that guy would be like, oh, I'm not getting poisoned by any fucking snakes. I'm going to go to Sir Raymond's living quarters. There might be an antidote there. I'll get things ready so the antidote can be injected as soon as you find it. Thanks, Rail. I'll leave that to you then. Right, so God, we... I love this music. Right, let's get on the left. Oh, fuck. Darn. But what? But what's wrong? The elevator doesn't come down when I press the button. So someone from the mansion probably did this as well. Seems like it. However, there must be a staircase somewhere that we can use to get to Sir Raymond's living quarters. Since the elevator isn't working, the stairs are probably blocked as well. Wait, could there be something in a dining room? Right. Why are they trying so hard to prevent us from reaching Sir Raymond's living quarters? Does that mean there's an antidote there? Could be. I, I, I don't know. If I wanted to make sure something wasn't found, I'd hide it somewhere unusual. Shit, dining room. Or, or have someone carry it around with them. Throwing that snake into the communication room was quite dangerous. Whoever did that might have an antidote on them. The million dollar question is, who threw the snake in there? Darn. Let's go to the communication room and think about it some more. Shit. Oh, that just wasted time, didn't it? Did you find the antidote? Uh. You didn't find it! Uh, this is hopeless! Damn, what should I do? Right, fucking go to the dining oh. hall. Oh. Let's head to the dining hall. Perhaps Jacob is still there. Jacob, right. He knows about this mansion. We might get something from him. Y yeah, he does seem to know a lot about this mansion. Jacob's his name. Uh, I knew you'd be here. What is it? You look distressed. Did something happen? Actually, Akira was bitten by a venomous snake. She won't make it unless we find an antidote. Jacob, would you happen to know where they might keep one? A venomous snake? Don't be silly. Why would there be a snake on this island? Don't tell me that you're drunk as well. The strong smell of alcohol wafts from to my nostrils. Looks like he's drunk again. Hopefully I can get some information out of him. Unfortunately, it is true. It appears that someone from the mansion threw a venomous snake into the room to threaten us. Someone from the mansion? Hmm, that must be because you're sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. They must be afraid that the mansion's secrets will be exposed. This is why I told you not to snoop around so much. You can lecture me later. Anyway, about the snake. That's a black mamba. Would you happen to know anything about it? Hey, do I look like I know anything about snakes? No, wait. Come to think of it, Sir Raymond and I once spoke about snakes. The name sounds familiar, but... Are you sure? Do you know where I could find an antidote? An antidote? Hmm... Can't think straight at all. Let me remember something if I drink a bit more. If you drink a bit more? Hey, now is not a good time for jokes. Scientifically, he is correct, but when you drink alcohol, you have a higher chance of remembering something. When mine sinks, words float. I think he just wants to mess with us. Do you really think we should give him some more wine to get information from? Him? Well, you can come back if you want to talk to me. Maybe I'll have a moment of clarity. And don't forget to bring me some good wine the next time you come. Fucking hell, I think about it. Right. That. Did you get the antidote? Huh? Well, why do you smell of alcohol? Have you been drinking? Yeah, what did we do? Uh, don't be silly, you're mistaken. This is unacceptable. Good grief. Did Jacob smell of alcohol rub off on me? What am I supposed to do now? Why would he smell of alcohol? Um. My god, stay here. Go back to the dining room with the wine? Would you go with the wine? Let's try it. Go then, yeah. I guess we have no choice but to speak to Jacob again. You should get some wine and take it with you. Right. Can't believe I'm doing this. What do you need wine? Oh. 
What do you need wine for? Are you gonna have a party? No, it's not like that. With this, we can. Ah, never mind. Actually, I wouldn't mind a sip myself. No, get lost. Bring me some wine. Fuck's sake. Hey, you should take <laughs> bad care of yourself. Drinking is bad for your body. It doesn't matter if it's bad for my body or not, since I'm gonna die anyway, apparently. Uh, ah. I remember an anecdote from Japan. Mitsurinasi Ishida was offered a dried persimmon before his execution, and eek! Grab Nanako as she just tried to march herself again and leave the communication room. We don't have fucking time, Nanako! We're at half time now. Uh, what kind of vine are you going to like? I'm pretty sure he uses his own likes and dislikes. He's already drunk as a skunk anyway, I'll just pick whichever bottle I see first. I randomly pick a bottle of wine. Quickly leave the white fella. Thank you. I've been waiting for you. You brought me some wine, didn't you? I did, but I just picked one randomly. I hope this one is alright. Jigu glances at the wine I brought him and then snorts. Yeah, whatever. It's more than antidote. I tried to recall that conversation. I did hear that Sir Raymond owned a venomous snake. A snake that could kill a human being with a single bite. Yes, I knew that already. As I told you, Akira was bitten by it and is now slowly dying. I just want to know where I can find an ant antidote. Akira, I think you should forget about trying to save Akira. If someone from that magic really did this, then they've already disposed of the antidote. They should also immediately kill you the moment you ask them for it. Or they would. Uh, what do you think they would say? Yes, sir, the antidote is right here. Of course I know that, but I still have to look for it. Her life is at stake. Hey, it's not like you know her that well. She's just a stranger to you. I don't know why you're so upset. Are you trying to be her knight in shining armor? Jacob, you... Hey, don't be angry at me. It's your fault that this happened in the first place. If Akira dies, it's on you. The fuck? She's not dead yet. There's still hope. There's something else, my friend. In any case, good luck trying to save her, but we'll take a miracle. I'll be here if you need me. Feel free to swing if, but if you want to talk or drink some. Fuck! This didn't do jack shit. Huh? Mm. Say something! I'm gonna cry! This fucking sucks. Don't lose hope, Akira. Hearing that all the time gets old much sooner than I was expecting. I'd rather be dead than hear that one more, one more time. If you have so much time on your hands, then go do something! You're right. Right. Try going to his quarters again. Uh, sure. Let's try blah blah blah. Uh. Oh, fuck. What are you doing? You keep scurrying about. Don't tell me you're planning something strange. One second. What are you doing, man? This ain't the time for it. Oh, sorry. sorry. No! <laughs> Hello? He's disappeared. Yes, you're back. Right, right, sorry, I was like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, when I was. <laughs> Mate, we're running out of time. <laughs> oh, fuck this game! <laughs> ah! Right. <laughs> hey, when, I, when was I ever up to no good? I'm not doing anything bad, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Akira has been bitten by a poisonous snake. She won't make it if we don't make it, uh, find an antidote quickly. What? A poisonous snake? Are you kidding me? On this cold, isolated island? Do I have time for this? No. I wish I was kidding, but unfortunately I'm not. Would you happen to know where we can find an antidote? An antidote? No, I have no idea, but... You're wasting my time. Wait a minute, are you really telling me the truth? If you think I'm lying, just go to the communication room to see for yourself. Everyone's running around right now, but if you go, try not to upset Akira. No, no, I believe you. But where could the antidote be? To be honest, I'm not sure either. I was thinking about going to the Raymond's living quarters because I thought they were suspicious. However, the elevator appears to be out of order. The elevator? Come to think of it, the emergency exit was also locked, which I thought was strange. Oh, for fuck's sake. Anyway, I'll go and look for an antidote as well. Oh, we're fucked. Uh, After he says that, Alex, Alex runs away. I'm not expecting much from him, but any help is better than nothing. But wait. Why did Alex know that the emergency exit was locked? Did he try to sneak through the emergency exit? If that's the case, and Alex is a little bit shady as well. That guy is definitely up to something. We've got to have big fish to fry right now. We have to find the antidote quickly. But it doesn't appear to be possible to sneak into Mr. Sir Raymond's living quarters. What should we do? Should we go back to the communication room for now? Yeah, there might be some new information. I'm also worried about Akira's condition. For fuck's sake. Oh, I didn't expect much from you anyway. Hang in there, we'll find an antidote in no time. Yeah, right. You keep talking about an antidote. There might not even be one. Good point. I really don't want to think about that possibility. Oh, fuck, we're just gonna yeah. stay here. Fucking hell. 
There's no point in running around aimlessly. No. We need to come up with a proper plan before I go. Fuck this game! It's good to have a plan, but I can't think of any place where an antinote could be. Let's just think logically. If I were to keep a venomous snake on this island. You lost it. I would, I would Keep most likely have an antidote sense. somewhere close to where I kept it. That, may <clears throat> that makes sense. The snake was kept as a pet. It most likely be an antidote inside so many living quarters. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh no. I'm out of time. Oh no. Kira's foaming from her mouth and dies shortly after that. Right. How the fuck do I save this game? Don't save it! No, as you in, did. sorry, how do I... <clears throat> oh, return to R. Wait. Uh, that's... R didn't work. What have you done? Right. Return to main menu. Wait a minute, you're just gonna... Yeah, fuck that. I'm not fucking continuing with that. I'm saving Akira. I don't give a shit. Alright, well, fucking get to the timer and skip it. Right, for the first thing is first. I'm going to have some of the food that I keep. So basically, my food came, which is why I had to, like, pause the recording for a sec. But, well... Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my Save God. Time. Oh, my God. What? This is stressful. Learn how to save the game. Um, yeah. Give me a second. I'm just going to... I'll be back in a minute. Sure. I'm just going to pause the recording for a sec, so... And we're back, and I just realized that, oh, this will be fun. This will be fun to edit. I shouldn't have paused. You've just made a job for yourself. You should have left it recording the whole time. I know. But. Anyway. <laughs> let's have a think about this. Before we get into the time segments. So Jacob was useless, but also, is Jacob a doctor? I can't remember what his profession is. But he is, he strikes me as, what was the name of the doctor in Umineko? Oh, I can't remember his fucking name. Are you joking? You know the, oops, uh, the best friend of... Um, yes, I know. I know who you're talking about, yeah. So I feel like Jacob might be filling that role. Like this whole, mm. um, this a lot of this just seems like a, a parallel with the main echo because... Jacob was like, oh, yes, yeah, so I used to have chats with uh, Sir Raymond. And he, we talk about snakes and all that as if they were, like, some sort of friends. Hmm. So um, that's maybe going to play out. Interestingly enough, what was it? Alex, the kid. I forget what his name is. Um, Alex, yeah. He knew that the emergency exit wasn't, was locked. So he tried he to. He did. Hmm. So he's tried to go out the emergency exit at some point. Which um, we did think about. We're like, whoa, that's strange. Try to do some dodgy stuff. And then it was like, yeah, but we don't have time to worry about that just now. So that's an important thing to note. And Jacob was absolutely useless. <laughs> so... He just wanted any excuse to get more alcohol. Yeah, he was just like, oh, this is shit, but I'm still going to get wasted. So I think maybe staying there for a second, thinking about what to do, and then go and try mm -hmm. to the uh, Sir Raymond's. Because I think it's either... Now, this might be a horrible... This might be actually a cheeky little thing. Well, actually, do you think the game would reset? No, I think it might continue, actually. Was it reset when we died? Well, that's an ultimate ending, isn't it? I don't know, but yeah. Um, I don't want to clear to die, I don't care. Yeah, I get you. Right, let's do this. I'm going to just skip through this. Fucking, this is bullshit, though. This is bullshit, it's dead. I was wondering if it can still inject venom. Like, what if the venom is actually behind? Nah, I well, think I don't know the venom, venom sacks are there. in the yeah. pad somewhere. Okay, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, how do I skip? What does skip do? Mm. <coughs> right, so we need to get Wayne. Wait, I can't skip. Oh, shit. No, it takes because a it's oh, on the timer now. So it, the menus are usually there, right? 
There's yeah. extra buttons there and they're gone. That's why it's gotten a bit weird. Err. Either way, because it's on the timer. To stop you from fucking save scumming like I do. Uh -huh. Right. Suck it out. <laughs> um, let's stay here to think about it. There's no, yeah. there's no point in running around aimlessly. We need to come up with a proper plan before I go anywhere. It's good to have a plan, but I can't think of any place where an antidote could be. Let's just think logically. If I were to keep a venomous snake on this island, I would most likely have an antidote somewhere close to where I kept it. That makes sense. If the snake was kept as a pet, there'd most likely be an antidote insta inside Sir Raymond's living quarters. There's a good chance that we can find an antidote in Sir Raymond's living quarters, but how can we get in there? But if we don't hurry up and do something, Akira will die. But let's see if this leads to anything. You're right, we have to act quickly. Right, so let's try at least. Right, gonna go there and see an antidote. Uh, blah, 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 thanks. Right, I think we're going to come across the same issue. Yeah. Right, it's it's like, oh, someone's fucked with the elevator. Uh, yeah. So that didn't work. Blah, blah, blah. They said, let's think about it some more. Stay here. It's better than staying here and doing nothing. Or do you have any other ideas? I feel as if we're overlooking something. What if there's a way to treat our snake bite without using an antidote? I think that using an antidote is the only way to neutralize the venom. No, <clears throat> I could swear there's another way. Darn, never mind. Anyway, we'd better act quick, quick, wait. If it's not too much of a bother, could you make it snappy? It's not like I expected much from you anyway. Ugh, what did you say, mother? I have to go into the light? Hey, don't give up yet. We don't let, won't let you die here. Wait, he's trying to think something. Should we stay here a bit longer? Stay here. Neniko, can a venomous snake bite only be cured with an antidote? Depending on the venom type, it's possible to relieve the symptoms with appropriate treatment or medication. However, because we're dealing with the venom of a black mamba, using an antidote is the only way. Then we have to find the antidote, but we don't even know where it could be. This is bad. I feel like we're just going around in circles. If we don't hurry up, time will run out. Where could that antidote be? What if it's somewhere we haven't thought of? An unexpected place that we've all overlooked. Go to the dining hall? But well, we went, Jacob's going Unless to Unless you stay here again, stay here again. There's no point in standing in here and doing nothing. If you don't hurry, Akira will die. I feel like I've forgotten something. Something important. Fuck, did we have some sort of anti-snake bite shit? Did someone have that for some reason? Well, why wouldn't he remember it now? I have no idea. What is it? Because this game is an asshole. Ah, my body is becoming numb. I still want to stay. I'm going to keep staying here. That's right. it. I remember. I know how we can get an antidote. What are you talking about? We're really running out of time. The antidote? Where could it be? <clears throat> Mother! What? Stay oh. here again? If what I'm thinking is correct... There's not much time left. Fucking hell! If what I'm thinking is correct, there's not much time left. Go! Just go! Go where? I don't know, Sir Raymond's living quarters. What? The, dining, the dining hall! Let's head to the dining hall. Perhaps Jake. No! What? Right, there's, there's something we need to remember, right? Um, what is it? Do you go to the room then? Blah 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 blah, he's fucking useless. I don't care. Um... Fuck, man. Right, let's do Right, they're not letting me. I'm just gonna have to bloody run to everything and we catch this jackass. Blah this. blah 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 blah. He ran off. Right. 
Right, let's go nice. again. No, this is stupid. That's not gonna start working. Yeah. But this is new. Uh, I wasn't gonna. Uh, she probably won't make my joke anyway, especially in a situation like this. To be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing when I'm past. What am I supposed to do? Living quarters. Wait, wait, wait what? Was Why did you click on the dining hall? Well, there's an option for the living quarters. Fuck. It said. Ah. No, so Raymond's living quarters is what it said. Oh, okay. Blah, 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 blah. This is the same one with getting the drink. Maybe we have to just do the, like, yeah, try to. Blah, blah, he's useless. Right, yeah, we're not fucking. Right. Making progress. All right, so Raymond's living quarters. Hang on. Oh. oh, hello. I've searched here, there, and everywhere, but I didn't find anything. Is there really an antidote to the first place? There has to be. By the way, have you seen any people from the mansion in the dining hall? Um, no. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen any staff around. This is only a guess, but it's possible that someone from the mansion is responsible for this. I believe they didn't want Akira to give testimony. I see, so that's why. Does that mean that we can't ask anyone from the mansion for help? Exactly. We have no choice but to find the antidote by ourselves. Is finding the antidote our only option? Can't we do anything else? According to someone who knows about these things, treatment with an antidote is the only... Who's only option, yeah. Who said that? Nenek. Real. 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 I see. How terrible. If only one of us had an antidote on us. Could it have been real? But that's very unlikely, right? One of us? What's the matter? Ah, no. Hang on, what if I'm overlooking something important? What if one of us does have an antidote on them? Anyway, I'll do what I can. I don't like sitting around doing nothing. Thanks, Alex. What, what's the matter? The antidote. Perhaps we're getting a step closer. Huh? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm starting to feel numb and my foot... Uh. My body is starting to feel numb and my foot still hurts. I'm not going to make it. No, there's a way to save you. I'm sure we're getting close. Uh, stay here? Uh, but well, you've been here all the time, where is it then? I'll overlook the most important point. Nenako, do you know how antidotes are made? Well, antibodies are produced by injecting a sublethal dose of poison into a horse or another animal. An antidote can then be made by separating the antibodies from the blood. We don't have time to do all of that. Oh, sorry, that it was real. Not, it means it's in the fucking uh, snake. I know I'm not that yeah, sure. Yeah, go on. Nenako, remember what I said earlier, that black man has bit me in the past. Uh huh. Ah, you're saying that, but but I don't think antidotes can be made if you've only been bitten once. I've been bitten three times. What the fuck, Akita? What the fuck? What? Uh, I was bitten by black mamba three times in the African jungle. Also, I didn't receive any entry. Blah blah blah. I can you still be alive? Are you some kind of monster? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. If that's the case, then Akita might have black mamba antibodies inside of him. I see the practice. Blah blah blah. As used by Bill Hast. So. <laughs> No, 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 see if I transfer your blood, <laughs> this might actually work. I'll get everything ready. Just hold on, Akira. We don't have time. Before I forget, what's your blood type, Akira? Checks the blood types, quickly wraps a tourniquet around my arm, collects my blood. Your... your blood types are compatible, thankfully. I'm sure she's going to be okay. Fucking lucky. I'm glad to hear that. Looks like you've been saved by a hero's breath, Akira. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Fuck. Save it, save it, save it, Fuck. save it, save it, save it, save it in a new flat, a new, new one! This game! Let me have some more of my food. <laughs> this was stressful. Why, ah. the hero, why? Man, this is amazing. Screw you! <laughs> mm. oh. I need a bit of a break after that. Oh, that was good. Nice and stressful. Is this game going to get worse? It might have more of these. I was told that it had moments where time limits come in. And I remembered what you said about... Um... <laughs> Dang and Rompa. <laughs> Dang and Rompa. And I was like, you're not going to like this. No. I'm not telling you anything. You are. <laughs> <laughs> you are all assholes. <laughs> but you <laughs> anti hero knew this. You knew this. Yeah. If we do this as well. <laughs> hmm. Jeez. Ah, oh, man. Oh. Well. What? 
we have that was cool we've saved Akira I did not want I don't want anyone to die to be fair I mean Jacob sorry um Thomas Thomas was unavoidable I think yeah I mean you can't have a murder game with no murder right yeah at least in the beginning I wonder if they're going to do a time skip thing do you know how like that weird thing happened where we died and it time skipped and then in the beginning it's like this world isn't real yes also do you know how when we're playing um who put uh press mute on uncle marcus yeah and the idea was to like replay the game again and again and again before you could actually unlock things and, and find stuff out i wonder yeah if this is one of those type of games i don't know about that i don't think it is for some reason although i'm not speaking from a point of knowing oh well let's jump back in <sighs> that was a very close call you're telling me <laughs> <clears throat> the blood transfusion was a success and akira appears to be out of danger akira how are you feeling my leg still hurts but it's no longer numb it looks like akira's blood was the perfect antidote oh i'm so happy the real question is why the fuck was akira bitten by three black mambas and he's still alive how the fuck is he alive yeah maybe he is like do you know how there's like didn't he work with the mafia in New York? And isn't he this? And yeah, that? I remember that. What the fuck is that? What is and this? It's like, and he's like, pay no attention. <laughs> well, don't think about it. As much as I want to complain, but I won't. Thank you for saving my life. To be honest, I'm kind of used to being chastised. Anyway, I'm happy you're feeling better. Young lady, you are healed. Giselle, you're back. Did you manage to find any of the mansion stuff? I'm sorry, I could not find anyone. I see. How strange. Anyway, I'm just glad that this is over. No, the most important... So this is... Thank God she's fine. Ouch! <clears throat> but the most important Ouch. question, right, is... Who did this? Who did this? Because that's going to be an issue going forward. Like, technically, it could be Rel. It could be Giselle. It, like, it could have been Giselle. She was it right. It could have been you. No, we were in. <laughs> this is a shot, man. <laughs> like, but you know how Giselle was standing outside the room, and that's where it happened, and she, like, randomly disappeared for a bit for some reason? She's like, oh, I was away from the room. It's like, wait, you're her caretaker. And she didn't explain why she was away from the room. Mm. So, you know, she's suspicious. It could be Rel, because Rel was outside before this happened, even though she came with an axe and... Rel was the one that broke open the door, wasn't it? Or was it Giselle? No, it was Giselle. Right, so Rel wasn't in the room at the time either. So anyone that wasn't us could have done it, right? Could have been Alex. Mm. It could have been... Uh... Now, the int I want an interesting thing to note, right? And I don't know if this was like... When we went to visit Jacob and we talked to Jacob, when we came back, we smell of alcohol. Yes. I don't think that's normal when you talk to someone who is drunk to come back and smell of alcohol. Huh, yeah. And remember, uh, Thomas died because he was burnt in a weird way. As yeah. if he had been soaked in alcohol. Well, I said fuel, but yeah. Hmm. What route did we take? We went to the dining hall, and then we came back. Wouldn't call it a route. There were only three options. Stay here and think. Go to the room. Uh, master's room. Say Remin's room. We'll go to the dining hall. That was it. Did we smell of alcohol after we went to the wine? After we went to see uh, uh, Jacob for the first time. In No, it was before we went to the wine cellar. Right. So, and the route between the dining hall and this room... Which is the same route that Jacob took, uh, Thomas took when he died. We smell of alcohol. <laughs> so something, some, something is up with that route in general. I think. I think that's a hint. Um, one sec. I'm just, <sighs> just having some more of my food. <laughs> So 
probably carry on. I think we should. This is you. You should lie down a little bit longer. I've always been a quick healer. Don't worry about me. I like the kind of slight, the kind of foot fetishy bit. So, oh, I had to rip off her tights and uh, suck her feet. <laughs> Somehow I knew that was going to get snuck in and it did not disappoint. <laughs> I mean, technically, better ankle, but good enough for most people. It just didn't show it. Mm. Don't worry about me. Could you all leave me for a moment? Yeah, she's here with the torn stockings after all. Everyone except for Ikira and Neneka. Not even Giselle. Interesting. But young lady. It's okay, Giselle. Just wait outside with everyone else. <coughs> As you wish, young lady. <coughs> after everyone has left, Akira sighs deeply and leans against the wall. I'm still a bit shaky, so I'm leaning against the wall. I hope you don't mind. Of course, that's okay. I mean, you're fucking poisoned by a black mamba. Let it, I'll let you off for that. You want to know more about this island, right? <laughs> Maybe we did actually organise this so that we could get her on our side. Yep. Alright, I'll tell you everything I know. Are you sure? You may be targeted again by people from the mansion. I won't be threatened and silenced anymore. Anymore? Interesting. Besides, I owe you my life, don't I? She's been silenced before, probably by her family. Maybe even threatened. <coughs> listen. Sorry. <laughs> Careful. Uh, listen, just accept this favour before I change my mind. All right, then. Tell me what you know. Ooh, we're getting the juicy get goodness. What's the secret of Shirnagasu Island? To put it simply, there was an illegal prostitution hap- Oh, sorry, I, th I was- <laughs> There was illegal prostitution happening on Shirinagasu Island. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get into the uh, Epstein vibes now, aren't we? What? Prostitution? On a solitary island in the middle of nowhere? Rather unusual. What made it illegal? Were there minors involved? What did he think we meant? That's right. Not only child prostitution, but human trafficking as well. Uh... I heard that many terrible things happened here. Such as? The girls who came here were given coloured ribbons. The colours indicated how they could be treated. Right. I know that she's got an orange ribbon around her neck. Do you know how Aurora said that she had to wear that blue ribbon? Oh fuck, I didn't remember that. I remember it, and I remember it feeling- I remember thinking that that was significant in some way. She go- Because he said- She didn't say she had to wear- He said, That's a nice blue ribbon you have there, and she's like, I don't like it. <laughs> and he's like, why? I see. Why are you wearing it? And she's like, I just have to wear it. See, I don't remember that at all. When did that happen? That happened when she was in our room chatting to us, being like, Hi! And he's like, I the could be time. a bad man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, there was a second time? There was only one time uh, she chatted to us in her room. The other time was Nenical. Oh, right, okay. I was getting confused. Because they were both sitting in the kind of same position, the same chair. Hmm. So I remember that being important. And now, now I want to fucking remember... I know the maid woman. She has a black thing because she's a maid. Um... Aurora has a blue one. You've pointed out that Akira has an orange one. Um, is Neneko wearing anything? I don't think Mariko. I don't think Neneko has been here before. No, but I wonder if it's like... Uh, she wouldn't have known. Who else? Rail? And now I want to look at all this, the, the images of the, the sprites. The colours were red, yellow, and blue. Wait, she's not wearing red, yellow. Is, she, is that red instead of orange? I guess. Wait. It, do, it doesn't look red to me. Uh, it could be interpreted as red. It's close to red. But I would call it orange, but whatever. Uh, 
Girls with red ribbons were allowed to be killed with impunity. Well, uh, like yourself. Ooh, that's gone really hard. Many girls with red ribbons were killed in this mansion by sadistic men. Pixel. What? Where is this game going? It's going places. Carry on. Good grief. What the fuck is this place? I have a few questions. Why did you come to this island? Um. Well, I did say that I'd tell you what I know, but there's an order to things. In other words, she doesn't want to talk about it yet. Maybe I should ask her about something else first. That means her. that you need to go through. You need to exhaust that one. In order, yes. If illegal prostitution was really taking place here, where did all the girls disappear to? Who knows? I guess someone spilled the beans, so they went out of business. They might have taken the girls away, or even hidden them somewhere. I wonder if that's what happened to them. I have a bad feeling about this. Come to think of it, Jacob told me that there were fewer people than usual in the mansion. Maybe he was talking about the girls? Wait. I want to think about the implications of all of this, right? So. My, it, my headphones are getting fucking sweaty, man, because of the heat. Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Ada's dad was talking about regretting doing something here. Yes. Now, all of these people are representatives, but it's like their dads that came here originally or something. I think for most for people, or their dad's uncle. holiday. Yeah. Is it, is it this Ep Epstein's island with Prince Andrew, like the, the uh, rich dude's riffs? Yeah, yeah. Rich dude's coming and uh, having their pick, shall we say. This is fucking gross. When was the Epstein name scandal? For a long time. No, no. As in, it happened quite recently, a few years ago, and obviously... Uh, the man is no longer able to give testimony, but I believe they have evidence of the ring itself. So, potentially 2019. I'm trying to think, yeah, to, uh, date apprehended 2019, July the 6th. This game came, came out to, to the 2020, I think. Hmm. But this might have been heavily influenced by that case. Interesting. I don't know. I feel like it's more than, you know, it doesn't have to be influenced by that. Well, it's it not, I don't think it's it. the only influence. Like, this game yeah. has definitely got Umineko vibes and all that sort of stuff and this general mystery um, thing going on. But this this twi this story is a little. Uh, it's <laughs> very fucking close to. I mean, I watched the Netflix documentary on Epstein and it talked about his island. And it was very similar, like it, it was a very kind of manicured, lots of just grass, didn't have that many. I mean, it didn't look like it had many trees and stuff, I don't know. But um, it, it was only a place that had like a couple of buildings, which were his. Because obviously well, it's I've not seen this documentary. Uh, Epstein or something. We're probably going to get demonetized. I mean, I don't, I'm not monetized, but uh, I, 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 feel, I hear YouTubers even like, they don't even mention his full name. And videos just in case. But anyway. You could beep it over. Beep. I'm not going to bother that. I'm not monetized anyway. Um, I wonder where they are. There don't appear to be any hiding places on the island. Maybe there's a secret cave somewhere. A secret cave? Huh. But why do you know all of this? This isn't something you easy, can easily discover. Did you hear about it from your father? Stop bringing that man up. A friend of his told me. What? I think he was drunk at the time, and he was very talkative. He kept going on about horrible acts, as if he was enjoying my reactions. Without... I'm... I'm just being grossed out by all this. 
Uh, there are all kinds of scumbags in this world. You may have really enjoyed watching your reactions. I knew what he was trying to achieve, so I pretended to be as unresponsive as I could. I really wanted to throw up, however. This explains her general demeanor when she came here. She was a pretty pissed off. I mean, if she's coming yeah. to this island, everyone else coming here has something to do with this bullshit. Yeah. He told me about some terrible torture someone had carried out, but he might have done it himself. He just knew too many details about it. Well, this game. <clears throat> Could you tell me more about his background? Sure, but I don't think it would be helpful. He was the second son of an ancient aristocratic family and a wealthy businessman, the CEO of his own company. His talkativeness was probably his downfall. He disappeared on this very island. Interesting. He disappeared on this island? I don't know all of the details, but one day he suddenly went crazy and disappeared. I think he was probably liquidated. In the eyes of the mansion, he was a traitor. Could this be the man Jacob mentioned? I see. It's no surprise that he was liquidated. Why are we using the word liquidate? This is weird. However, this man was no commoner. This means these people As are... in his assets were liquidated. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> this isn't a military operation. Just say he was murdered. This means these people are willing to kill anyone. Prostitution, torture... Are those the only secrets of this island? Do you think there is something else? I can't even imagine what it could be. In any case, this is all I've heard. It should be relatively easy to keep those secrets on this isolated island. I just can't understand why they would build all of these buildings here. Really? That's a good enough reason if you ask me. <coughs> in business as well as in life, you don't get something for nothing. I don't know how much money prostitution and human trafficking made them, but they took considerable risks for it. If they were exposed, they would all be arrested. Besides, Sir Raymond was not someone who struggled financially. Something about this just doesn't feel right. There's definitely something more going on here. I almost forgot about this. Akira, have you ever seen the IC car before? Oh yeah. A card? Quarantine level 2. What a strange card. I think I've seen something similar, but it was a different colour. I believe it was a red card. Red? Nenako, could you give me the other card? Uh, do I really have to? Uh, uh. Nenako reluctantly takes out the card wrapped in a bundle of tissues. That's it. This is like the one I saw. I saw that man holding the exact same card. Why is it covered in soot? Oh, this was Thomas's card. Do you know where and how I can use it? No idea. I'd like to know myself. That man wants some. No. <laughs> if she had died, we wouldn't have got any of this information. Good point. So it's doubly important that she survived. It is a bit like, how would you continue the game? You can probably use this card to enter some kind of quarantine zone. I don't know where that could be, though. What are you thinking? What do you think the quarantine zone's all about? There's probably a basement level where they met with the girls and shopped around or whatever, if you know what I mean. But why use the word? quarantine zone. I feel like that's significant in a different way from the usual shenanigans that's going on in this island. I get ya. Uh, I wasn't really thinking about that. Well? Hmm. 
I don't know, I'm trying to think, what could it be? Quarantine. Are they doing medical experiments on the girls? But then why would... They could be. Rich guys be interested in that. Quarantine zone. Huh. Hmm, I wonder where it is. Well, I don't think I really want to see it though. See the lift that we took to Raymond's, uh, Sir Raymond's floor? Uh, yeah. Do you remember if it had any ground, like basement below the ground floors? I can't remember. Honestly, I don't even know if we saw inside the lift. We did. You know how we stand there and we look out the doors? And then the doors open when we reach the fourth floor. Huh. Exhausted. Come on, Akira. You promised me you would tell me what I need to know. Why did you come to this island? Okay, fine. I'll tell you. Kira sighs deeply and begins to talk. I wanted to see this place for myself. My father is a cold-blooded, merciless man who never shed a tear. But he isn't the kind of man who would use the services of prostitutes. Interesting. However, they say that everyone has more than one side, so you can never know for sure. That's why I had to see this place with my own eyes. And to see if there was something else here. What else? You may forgive your father. Is that what you're thinking? I will never forgive that man for what he did to my mother. Even when she was about to pass away, the only thing he cared about was work. Man. He rarely showed his face at the hospital because he was too busy with his stupid work. Hmm. Maybe I just needed a reason to truly hate him. So that when I finally knew the truth, I could curse him without hesitation. I couldn't stand the fact that he was hiding something from me. That's all. I've told you everything I know. I've only heard about the island from someone else. I don't know what's really going on here. So it's hearsay. This is more than sufficient. Thank you for your help, Akira. Hmm. Something is definitely fishy here. It seems I really have to I really have to watch my back around the servants from now on. Is Thomas killed by someone from the mansion? Is Sir Raymond the mastermind behind all of this? No. Something just doesn't add up. At any rate, there is no turning back. I'll just do as much as I can. So we're done, right? This is all I can do to help anyway. Promise me that you'll take care of the situation and protect us. Oh, oh, oh. I can't <laughs> guarantee anything, but I'll do I my best. I guarantees are worth anything anyway. Hmm? So I can't rely on you at all, can I? Oh well. What do you expect me to say? I'll protect you against everything. Fucking this guy, right? He's t he told that to Neneko and then he's like, HA! By the way, Neneko. He... I thought you were trying to hide your ugly face behind that long hair, but I was mistaken. You're actually quite cute. <laughs> was this some Yuri action? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a little bit smelly. <laughs> when was the last time you had a bath? What does she smell of? That's the important thing. And I'm not saying that because of a fetish thing. Oops. Even with beautiful hair and a pretty face, a bad smell will ruin everything. Yeah, tell me about it. Remember she said that I smell alcohol? Uh... I don't... Mm. Come to my room later. I'll show you how to become a proper lady. When she was lying on the floor and we came back from the dining room, she was like, why do you smell of alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Neniko is trying to decline Akira's offer, but she stars so much that no one can understand what she's saying. Well, she does smell a bit. Us. 
It might be good to let Akira give her a hint of femininity. She doesn't appear to have any to begin with. What the hell, Akira? As I'm thinking that, we'll leave the communication room after many twists and turns. Wait, are we not going to interview... Did we interview Giselle? No. No, no, I think... Sorry, I kept... Wait, what? I think we did interview Giselle before Akira. I don't remember anymore, to be honest. Ah. Sorry, I kept you waiting, Giselle. We're all done. I am terribly sorry for my mistake, young lady. If I hadn't left my post at the door, this wouldn't have happened. It could have been Giselle. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't worry about it. Akira doesn't even suspect her, though. I'm still alive, but be careful next time. The killer is still out there. Ouch. Are you alright, young lady? Please, lean on my shoulder. No need, Giselle. I can walk by myself. Goodbye, Mr. Detective. Doesn't even call Is this the last we'll see her for anyway? Why are you saying that? Um, don't say that. Uh, and f interesting that she's just calling us Mr. Detective. She's not going to call us by her name. I'll see you later, later Neneko. Also, she seems to have a liking for Neneko for some reason. Why? I mean, why not? No, no, no. Everything that, like, it wasn't even hinted at that there was um, a relationship there or a liking. And she just got through a stressful situation in which she had to be with Neneko on top of a desk. True. Like, but we were the ones that kind of spearheaded that whole thing. So it just seems a little bit... I feel like there's a bit more to that why she's wanting to see Neneko away from us. I don't know. Uh. Despite the pain in her leg, Akira still tries to walk to the guest room building, hunched over and with a strange gait. Oh. What the... Ha. What the heck? Don't surprise me like that. What's with the sudden scream? My chastity is in danger. She's thinking what you're thinking. Akira's gonna violate me. Oh, you're thinking about Akira. Hey, don't worry. You're just going to douse you with perfume and bring out your cute and fluffy side. That will make me want to die. But my nerves are not strong enough for that. Oh, really? What, wanting to die? Well, good luck and try to enjoy yourself. Help me, Akira. You're my partner, aren't you? Help me. I don't want to die. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Can you see my mouse? I can see a mouse. What colour is that ribbon? Uh, uh, orange, uh, isn't it? That's just... Yeah, but that's just a school uniform thing. It was red, blue and yellow, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay. I dragged Nanako, who was clinging to me, into the guest room building. Wait, where were we just there then? I thought that was it. No, that was the main building. So when from the um, from the dining room to that hallway, that's the same building. I don't know why I thought the uh, communications room was in the same building as the guest rooms. So we didn't even cross over the bridge. Interesting. Uh, I wonder what that means. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. If it isn't Mr. Ikeda, you did a great job back there. Huh? Neneka, what's going on? You look so pale. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, don't mind her. What are you two doing here? A weird coupling. Well, I noticed a strange smell coming from this empty room. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Do tell. A strange smell. Well, I think on that note, I'm going to uh, end the episode here because I'm a horrible person. But also, right. we have reached the one hour mark, so I want to uh, end this episode because it's going to be a nightmare to edit. Um, so yes, we saved Akira, even though we had to restart. Um, that stressed the absolute fuck out of me. And we're starting to get serious <laughs> fucking dodgy vibes from this island like really scummy shit going on here 
or has been going on here in the past. And on top of that, Sir Raymond is missing. So that's um, not good. Not good. Do you know what this reminds me a bit of? It's not the same, but I, I don't know why. It reminds me a little bit of uh, the Resident Evil movie. Why the movie? Right. Because in the beginning, and it's just the setting, the beginning of the movie starts after a lot of shit happens in the raccoon underground um, city thing, right? The the underground base. The umber, under, yeah. Everything starts after the very end, after the shit hits the ground, and that's when it starts. And you're like, what the fuck's going on? And it feels like here, some sort of shit's hit the fan in some way. So Raymond has gone missing. There's not as many people around as there usually is. And we've just appeared here. We're like, why Why is there not so many people? It's like these weird hints of like, this is not right. What's going on? And you don't know what's going on. And as we go deeper and deeper into things, or we start to figure things out, we it's like, oh shit, something must have happened. Because they keep hinting. Not only that there's something wrong with this island, but also that it's not running nor the way it usually does. There's something mm. off with the island on top of the history of what this <clears> island does. So, yeah, that's why I'm getting those vibes. But um, are you, have you been enjoying this, Cook Soul? Have you been enjoying my, my pain? Well, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm enjoying your pain. What I'm enjoying is the experience of solving issues. Yeah. I mean, this is good. I am enjoying the story. I am puckering my butt cheeks because I think this is going to be one hell of a ride. And in terms of the story and even the gameplay. Um, what more could you want? And on that note, I'll leave you, my dear, dear audience. I am Ashmanix. And I'm apparently Pixel. And we will see you next time. Goodbye. Later, everyone.